hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and yes from today, we are going to start working on Premiere Pro. This is the first tutorial on Premiere, on this channel, so before we move to advanced editing, in this video, I am going to explain, you all the basic editing, in Premiere Pro, and this tutorial, is mostly for beginners, who are new to Premiere Pro. So without any wait, let's open Premiere, and start editing. After you open Premiere Pro, you will be welcomed with this screen. Let's create a new project by clicking this button. You need to give this project a name, I will name it as first project. Now you need to set the path for your project to be saved. You can browse your directory. I will select this folder to save my project. You need to leave remaining settings as it is, now click on OK, and you will be welcomed with this screen. For this tutorial I am using Premiere Pro CC 2019. This is the default editing workspace, which consists of four main panels. Depending on your workspace the position of the panel will be different. This is your timeline, project bin, source monitor, program monitor. This is our timeline, where we are going to add all our footage for editing. You can see this extra panels, project bin consist of media browsing panel, libraries, info, effects, marker, history, we don't need them. If you want you can also close them. We only need effects and project panel. Now let's import our clips. Here I am going to import this music file, and 5 clips, which I have downloaded them from Bexels. This are the imported footages. Now we will create a new sequence by dragging this media file to timeline. Perfect. This sequence will have all the properties of media file. Like the name of the sequence, resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and frame rate of media file, which is 25 frames per second. If you want you can rename the sequence. I will name it as project 1. You can see the sequence name is changed. You can see the preview. Timeline window is the main window, where all the editing take place. You can see the timeline window is separated by two parts, video track, and audio track. Here you can see the tools which we are going to use, the first one is the selection tool. Track forward and backward tool. Ripple tool, razor tool, razor tool is used to cut the clips. After cutting the clips if you don't want them, then you can delete them. Using selection tool, you can adjust position of the clips on timeline. You can also increase or decrease the clip length, by simply dragging the end of the clip. If I delete this clip, you can see the blank space, to remove this, select blank space and hit delete. This will delete the blank area, and shift your footage to start. Perfect. If you want to add some portion of the clip, then double click on it and this will open the clip in source panel. Here you can play the clip, and select the part, which you want to add it to timeline. I want to add clip from here, so I will mark it and by clicking on this icon. And here I will mark my out point. Here you can select, video only or audio only. 
Here I want only the video file, so I will click on this icon, and drag the video file to timeline. This will add only video clip to the timeline. You can see the preview. Similarly, I will add some more footage, to the timeline. Ok so here I have added, all the 5 video footage, which I have imported, in the beginning. Here we will add transition, between these two clips. In effects, under video transition categories, these are the free and common transition, available in Premiere Pro. In coming tutorials, I am going to show you, how you can create, your own transition preset and use them in your projects. For this tutorial I'm going to use, Cross Dissolve Transition, this is default transition. You can apply transition by, dragging them over to the timeline, and placing them between two clips. This is how our transition looks. Or you can add default transition, by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. Let's add it to second and third clip. Now if I try to add transition between, third and fourth clip, it get added at, start of the fourth clip, but we can fix this. Select the transition, now in effect control, you can adjust the transition position. Or you can align it to center of cut. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. I will do the same for final media clip. Now let's add blur effect to our video clip. In video effects categories, in blur and sharpen, select Gaussian blur, drag it over the video clip. In effect control, you can see, the Gaussian blur, is added, if you increase the blurriness, the media clip get blurred. Let's set blurriness to 50. Make sure, you are at start of the timeline, now create a keyframe for, blurriness. Let's go few frames forward. Now set blurriness to 0. You can see the preview. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to, easy in. Check the repeat edge pixels. If you want, you can also adjust the graph. Perfect. You can see the preview. In this way, you can apply effects to individual clips. Now let's add the text. You can do it by selecting the type tool. Or you can press T on your keyboard. Now let's create a text box, inside the preview window. Here you can enter your text, just for demo, I will enter Premiere Pro. Now you can position the text to center. You can edit the text, in effect panel. Here you can increase the text size. Let's position the text, to center. Or you can align, the text layer to center. Here you can change the font family. Here you can adjust the text any time you want. In coming tutorials, I will show you, how you can create, the best titles in Premiere Pro. Now for text layer, let's add some fade in effect. Here we will adjust the opacity. 
at start of the timeline, for the text, create a keyframe for opacity. Set opacity value to 0. Now at few frames forward, change opacity to 100%. You can see the preview. Now let's create fade out effect. Now add some frame forward, create keyframe for opacity. Now at end. Change opacity value to 0%. You can see the preview. For opacity, Let's change end keyframe to easy in. You can adjust the graph as shown. Perfect. Let's try to color correct our clip. In video effects, in color correction category. Select Brightness and Contrast, drag it over the video clip. Here you can adjust, Brightness and Contrast. But if you want to apply same effects to all clips, then we need to create Adjustment Layer. You can create adjustment layer in project panel. Click on the new item, and then select adjustment layer. Our adjustment layer is created, now let's drag it to the timeline. Let's stretch it to cover the video clips. Ok now here we will add, brightness and contrast, to adjustment layer. But before that, I will remove the brightness and contrast, added to the clip too. Ok now I will add brightness and contrast, to adjustment layer. Here you can adjust the brightness and contrast. If you hide the brightness and contrast effect, you can see the difference. I will create a detail video on, how you can color correct your footages, and also how you can apply LUTs to projects. Now here I will add the music file to Timeline, which I have already imported. Let's trim the extra part. Using Razor tool I will trim the extra part of the music. Ok now let's see the preview with music. Perfect. You can see, at the end, music just gets stop, so I will fade the end music. Select the music layer, in effects control panel, in volume. We need to create a keyframe for level. Now at end of the music layer, reduce the level value to near about minus 50 decibel, now if you stretch this, you can clearly see the keyframes, you can directly adjust the position of keyframes here. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's adjust the opacity for, end video clip. In effects control panel, create a keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the clip, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. 
with the music, the video clip also gets fade. To make our video look more cinematic, let's add film strip. In project window, let's create a new adjustment layer. Here I will rename it to film strip. Let's add it to timeline. Let's stretch. Perfect. Now for film strip. In effects, search for crop. Add it to strip layer. For crop. Set top to 10%. Set bottom to 10%. Perfect. Now we will create it as opening slide. At few frames forward. Create keyframe for top and bottom. Now at the start. Change top to 50%. Change bottom to 50%. You can see the preview. Perfect. If you want you can hide these safe margins. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's see how to export this project. Go to Files, in Export. Select Media, or you can do it by pressing Ctrl plus M on your keyboard. This will open the Export Setting Panel. If you want to export only some portion, then here you can set the range to export. Next you need to select the format. Here I will select the most common codex which is H.264. Here you can select the preset, here I will set it to match the source. Here you need to set directory for your export. Here you can give name to your media file. Here I will select, use maximum render quality. Here you can see estimate file size. Ok now hit export. This will create mp4 file of our project. That's for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did. Then make sure to like this video, and if you have any question or queries, then let me know in the comment section, thank you.